Well, hi everyone. This is Ted Wood again. We're on our second lesson of behavioral selling, the influencer buyer. You can have a lot of fun with this person, let me tell you that. Okay, uh, we'll get on with this uh, reading the influencer buyer. How do we know one when we see one? Well, in, influencer buyers are fast paced. They're extroverted. They're talkative. Now, the, the difference between the dominant buyer and the uh, promoter or uh, influencer that we're talking about here is when they're talkative, the dominant buyer is talkative in a task-oriented way. These people uh, are far more sociable in the way that they're talkative, okay? Uh, they're outgoing. Both the dominant and the influencer are very outgoing. They're more lively than the, the dominant buyer. They're optimistic. That's their uh, main emotion, as opposed to the dominant buyer being angry. Uh, when we say touchy, yeah, you can touch these people, and they may touch you. Um, the uh, They're active... And they're assertive, but not in the same way as a dominant buyer. We'll get into that as we go along slide by slide here. All right. Uh, their main driving emotion is optimism. They do believe it. They're ready to go for it. They've got it. Uh, influencer buyers are people-oriented as opposed to task-oriented. Uh, they are fast-talking. Probably the fastest talking of all the different kinds of behaviors is the the uh, influencer. All right, uh, the influencer buyers are fun loving; they want to have a good time. All right, let's talk about closing these people. We'll give you some more insight as well as we go along here into the. Uh, uh, determining who they are let's put it that way okay uh should be easy all right the influencer buyers we talked about they're being fast-paced they, they might even tell stories or begin entertaining in some way this is all part of their inclination to lose focus and we'll get into that some more as we go along here all right uh, the influencer buyers, again, are extroverted. See the sparkle in their eyes. See and hear that animated conversation with large, sweeping gestures and excitement in their voice. Yes, this is Monte Hall there for you people who remember the prices, right? They don't want... Theory, bring testimony, facts, endorsements. They want to know what other people think of it, especially important people. All right. They're not looking for something the same as everyone else. They want to be able to distinguish themselves. All right. All right. They got that optimism going for them. They got those big sparkly eyes, but those eyes are often bigger than their wallet. That, all right, these influencer buyers are people oriented. Remember the song, Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. That's going to be key to your selling these people is to recognize. They know what their friends are doing. They know what their friends have. And they want to be one up. End of story. All right. Influencer buyers are people-oriented, strong need for approval. They seek recognition. Bonding is critical. They concentrate on people and their goals as opposed to facts tasks, and numbers. Let them do the talking. 
but keep them on track. They are fun-loving, impulsive buyers. Make it fun. Add some romance and pizzazz to the experience. Get them to the action items. Mission critical. Get them to the action items. Keeping them focused and on track may be difficult, but it is critical. Bond first. Check credit second. Now close. Again, we're going to repeat that. Bond first. Check credit second. Close third. All right. The influencer is not fearful of change, so show them the better way. Perhaps the quickest to buy, but definitely the first to remorse the deal. Make sure the sale is solid. Remember when we talked about them being people-oriented? If their friends start telling them what a dumb thing this is that they did, and da 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 they are going to be very quick to remorse the deal. If they get home and find out that, uh, you know, buying the new Lamborghini, they aren't going to have enough money left to buy snack ramen and pay the mortgage, then they're going to want to remorse that deal. Okay. All right. Make an emotional appeal for the sale. Put your heart on your sleeve. Let's talk about some questions here that you can use to close. Closing questions. How does that make you feel? Good question. Okay, you really like this. It does offer a lot of prestige. I bet your friends will love the Dooley Flammer. All right. Didn't your wife say she loves Hooses What's It's? This is the sales manager's close. This is best done after all the paperwork is finished and completed and all that. What you're trying to do is to set the sail in sink it, uh, whatever it is, set the hook, however you want to put it. Okay, but you've already done everything. You've closed the deal. Now, still the world is full of negative people. I am sure there are people, even people close to you, who may take exception here. Will you still feel good about this should that happen? You want to practice this stuff in front of the mirror like the actors and actresses do. It'll take your game to a much, much higher level. All right. Next lesson is going to be on the stable buyer, the um, steady buyer, the... Uh, buyer that uh, I joke about that particular buyer because they are the ones that uh, you know you got done and they seem to be in approval of everything you said and I said well I wasn't going to buy that <laughs> so we'll talk more about that in the next lesson God bless you I hope this helps you with the influencer buyer and I uh, look forward to hearing from you obviously we're trying to make sense of life here financially ourselves and so we appreciate your support Let's talk more about how we can work together and have fun. See you later. Adios.